Jackie Lee here, proud rebel marketer and blogger at itsawayamlife.com. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of playing school here with my daughter's chalkboard and her little chair, but it's going to get the job done. And that's what I do, just get the job done. Okay, so today, you know, I've been seeing in people in my team like a little bit of confusion. And so I wanted to clear up that confusion. So we're going to start with the basic premise that you're an internet marketer, okay? And that simply means that you have something that you want to sell online, okay? It may be your own product, it may be an affiliate product, it may be a service that you provide, anything that you are selling online. That's going to be where we're starting at. Okay, and now let's just take this one step further that you need to have a high converting offer. You have to have something that people need people want and people will buy, okay? So, and a large enough group of people. So that's what we're assuming here. If you don't have a high converting offer, you know, click the link below this video and I'll show you mine and you can use it too, okay? Fair enough. All right, so here's the deal. You are an internet marketer, okay? This is you down here, okay? You are the internet marketer. I am her, okay? You have a product to sell. Now, you have some choices. How are you gonna do that? And this is kind of where the roads diverge, okay? We have a road going here, and we're going to try and we're going to get traffic to our high converting offer. But the thing is, is this road diverges depending on a few different things. Depending on, one, your resources. What resources do you have, you know, at the ready, uh, including time, money, um, information, knowledge, training, those things, you know, are really important. And what you choose and how you choose to go out there into the marketplace and let people know about your product is going to be dependent on some of those factors. Um, some of the other resources that you have at your disposal are you, you know, your energy, your um, way that you like to work, uh, your enthusiasm, what you're excited about, the things that you like to talk about. Um, that matters, okay? So depending on those things, you may take this road or you may take this road, okay? So let's see what the roads are. Now this road right here, this road I like to call Road Runner Road. Road Runner Road, okay? This is the road where you buy traffic, okay? And you maybe do solo ads. Uh, maybe you buy ads on other sites. You use other people's influence to send traffic to your high converting offer, okay? So you don't have to be like superwoman. You don't have to be, you know, Ellen DeGeneres. You don't have to be a super bubbly person. You don't have to have, you know, for a lot of personality. You can kind of be a roadrunner. He doesn't really say anything. He doesn't try to make friends. He just runs through the world and says, beep, beep. Okay? So you can do that. This road is going to take more money as a resource, but if you are not a person who wants to spend a lot of time, this is the way that you're going to need to do it. Okay? Because the other road, this road, this road takes a little more time, a little more effort, and it takes being present and being involved and being out there. And some people just don't like that. And that's okay because they've got this road. They can take this road. They don't have to take this road. But you kind of need to make a choice because if you try to take both roads, like how can you do that? You can't drive up here and you can't drive up here at the same time. So pick a road. So let's talk about this road. This is my road and I call it the Winnie the Pooh road. The Winnie the Pooh road. Because Winnie the Pooh always likes to think about others and connect with others and make new friends. And so on the Winnie the Pooh road, you're going to probably be using social media to connect with new people. You're definitely, on the, so on the Winnie the Pooh road, you're going to have a blog. Okay? You're going to produce content that other people want to read. And then you're going to share with people. You're going to connect with people, whether it's on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, or Pinterest, you're going to connect with other people, and you're going to say, hey, I wrote this great thing, or I did this great video, or this other person did this great video that I think is really cool, and I think would benefit you. And you're going to tell them about your content, content, and they're going to go. 
And when they get to your blog, they're going to see an opt-in box of some sort where they can put their email in and they can learn more about your high converting offer. So this row kind of sends people directly to the offer and this row sends them to you first and then to your offer. But the difference is, is that this one is all about who you are and who you want to connect with and the people who are just like you. You know, I was recently uh, listening to a training and the guy in the training was really passionate about this. He said, you know, there are more than enough me's out there to make me rich. So you don't need to connect with everyone, but you need to get really clear about who you are and find more you's in the world. So maybe you are a photographer and you spend a lot of time on Pinterest and Instagram. Cool. Find more people who are just like you. Find more photographers, whether they're really successful or they're really struggling, and share with them your content, your images, your beautiful photographs. You know, share them. And then decide, you know, share them on a blog. See how it works? And then when they get there, they'll see this opt in box where they can input their email address and find out more about your high converting offer more about the product that you have to sell, whether it's coaching about how to be a great photographer, whether it's an online course, three steps to better photographing food, or whatever it is, you know what I mean? You've got an offer, you've got something to sell, but you've got to pick a path. You've got to pick a path, and you've got to determine whether you've got, you know, more time, more money, and who you want to be in your business. Because if you don't make that decision, you're going to sit down here going, why the hell am I not getting traffic? Why the hell am I not getting sales? I have this great product, but nobody sees it because you have not chosen a path to take. It's time to choose. If you want to succeed in your business, if you want to start making sales, you have to choose a path and then you've got to get moving. You can't just sit down here on the path and expect this to happen. You've got to start taking steps <clears throat> toward getting the people to your, your opt-in page. That's all there is to it. Now, how you do that is completely up to you. Whether you take this path or this path, there, there's lots of leeway in there. You get to do the things that feel good for you, but you've got to figure out what they are and you've got to do them, period. Now, there may be days when you are just full of energy and full of get up and go and you do lots and lots and lots and lots of things on either path that you choose. And there may be days when you feel like crap and you just want to lay in bed and watch TV all day. Here's the problem. You can't do that. You can't just lay in bed and watch TV. You don't have to do everything on any given day, but you have to do something. You have to do something. So maybe generally you, you connect with 10 people on your chosen platform. So on this I feel crappy day, connect with five. You don't have to do everything, but you've got to do something every single day. And you've got to be clear what those things are. You are going to waste so much time and energy trying to figure it out every day. Figure it out right now, make a decision, write it down, and then just know. When you open your computer in the morning, you know exactly what you need to do. Do it. If you're feeling crappy one day, cut it in half and do it. But do something. Do something. Choose a path. Figure it out. Do it. That's all there is to it. You've already got this great thing that you want people to know about. Now you just got to tell them. Now, whether you tell them on this path or this path, either way works. But you got to choose a path and you got to get it moving. So whether you're a roadrunner or you're a Winnie the Pooh, I wish you the very, very best in your journeys. And if you need some help or you need some training on either one of these paths, click that link below this video because that's what I do. I help people play big in their business and in their lives and get where they need to go, whether it's this one or this one. I can help you out, all right? The link is right below. Fill in your email address and I will send you to a video that explains exactly how you can get where you need to go. I'll talk to you soon.